Okay, so let's get started. Uh, uh, so, <coughs> sorry. So before I get into the agenda for today, uh, you guys have any questions uh, from the previous classes or any anything that you want to discuss? Okay, cool. So, so let's discuss uh, about triggers. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> triggers are again an, an action. So when, when something happened, you want to take, run the pipeline, right? Or when 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 you want to by run the pipeline at a specified time and interval, right? So th these are the ways that you can kick off a uh, pipeline. So remember, we we have a pipeline created and across uh, we have added a lot of activities and all. Now we need to reach the pipeline to run multiple times to get the data from different sources and, and, and run the transformations and then, uh, you know, keep updating the data as it coming and as it uh, uh, refreshing. So in those cases, we need to run the pipeline uh, multiple times to keep the data updated. And uh, you can't be running uh, multiple times manually. So that's where ADF provides an opportunity to uh, create a trigger. So trigger is what, uh, what is the basic definition of trigger is, it's basically it executes the couple of activities on a regular interval. So automatically kick off the pipeline automatically. Uh, it's kind of an alarm. If you set alarm at six o'clock or whatever the time, you set alarm, alarm automatically uh, uh, rings, right? So similarly, if you set a trigger, uh, at a specified time, it automatically runs in the background, and you can and finishes the second due to the uh, the activities. Now, there are situations and scenarios where always you you would you will not be able to um, run on a specified time and all. Right? There could be there could be a scenario where you know you want to run on a specified event. Right, and that event you don't know what what time it uh, comes, when it comes, you don't know. Okay, so there are a couple of options. Uh, Azure Data Factory uh, triggers uh, helps us to achieve these scenarios. So let's get deep dive into that. So the first one we we, we have a schedule triggers, and as I mentioned, schedule trigger is what you know you specified a schedule. That means you already know. Like you know what start date, what start date you want to start the uh, trigger, the recurrence, and also when it's going to end. If you know already, you can mention the end already. Uh, otherwise, you can leave the end. Uh, it keeps running on those recurrences, uh, whether it's a, uh, every week or every day or every hour or every month. So you can set those recurrences. So the trigger automatically kicks off the pipeline. And one, one important thing to not, notice here in schedule trigger is schedule pipeline and tri, uh, schedule trigger have a many to many relationship. Okay, that means multiple triggers can uh, kick off a single pipeline. Similar, uh, similarly, a single trigger can kick, uh, can kick off multiple pipelines on the same, same interval. Okay, let's you schedule, a, for example, let's you uh, schedule a, uh, you want to run a couple of pipelines at uh, every morning at 6 a.m. Okay, so you will create only one schedule, which is 6 a.m. every day, and you can attach the trigger to with multiple pipelines. Similarly, you want to um, run a pipeline uh, with multiple uh, schedules. So you can run that as well. 
ओके सो लेट्स डीप डाइव इनटू दैट सो सी द द द सेकंड पॉइंट मेनी टू मेनी टू रिलेशनशिप इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वन यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वेयर 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 यू कैन यू कैन सी मल्टीपल ट्रिगर्स कैन किक ऑफ अ सिंगल पाइपलाइन दैट मींस यू वांट टू रन द पाइपलाइन with with multiple intervals like you can have a 6 am 9 am 10 am similarly you can create those schedules and attach to the single pipeline and similarly you can single pipeline can also kick off in multiple uh, pipelines so the next one is um, sorry somebody saying something so the next one is tumbling window triggers so this is an interesting one uh, where uh, we have some of you know uh, the schedule trigger is lagging some of the uh, options and uh, uh, flexibility to even run uh, uh, multiple uh, time intervals so that's where the tumbling window uh, comes into picture so tumbling window is a specific kind of a trigger that fires at a period periodic interval time okay so after the when you after mentioning the start time either you want to run for every 1 hour or every uh, you know 15 minutes or every 13 minutes okay so in those kind of uh, uh, scenarios where tumbling window will come into picture okay but the same thing can you also you can also schedule uh, you can use the schedule trigger to run for every 15 minutes but the difference is it's a fixed uh, uh, tumbling windows are fixed sized and, and they are non overlapping and contagious in time intervals let's assume that you scheduled to run for every 1 hour okay but the trigger uh, the but the pipeline is uh, taking uh, taking uh, more than 1 hour okay so now what would happen the next interval which is coming uh, after 1 hour so tumbling tumbling if you create a tumbling trigger it will automatically uh, uh, create another execution kick off the another execution with an overlapping okay but those if you don't want to have that overlapping you can set that overlapping um a uh, window uh, you can set the dependency accordingly so that it only it only executes when the first one is completes okay so that's the difference between scheduled and uh, tumbling so as you can see here you can specify non overlapping and contagious time interval time intervals okay <clears throat> so another uh, important aspect is tumbling window trigger has a one to one relationship with the pipeline so you cannot uh, attach the attach the same uh, tumbling window trigger to multiple pipelines right so th that that will not be happen uh, uh, that is not going to happen so if you want to create a uh, tumbling uh, window trigger for multiple pipelines you need to create create multiple triggers there is no option okay so now we we learned about schedule as well as uh, you know uh, within the within the schedule there is a window you, you know which window what time windows you want to run for a pipeline now what if if what if you want to uh, trigger the pipeline based on the some event that event it could be anything like you know let's say you want to kick off the pipeline when the file arrives and you don't know what time the file arrives some days it can be at 9 am some days it can be 10 am some days so on and so forth so in those cases the either schedule or tumbling would help you to achieve that uh, run the pipeline so that's where we we had another option called event based triggers okay right now right now uh, it's uh, automatically integrated with the uh, azure data factory with with it uh, azure event grid okay so as i mentioned right data integration scenarios very uh, often require uh, customers to trigger pipeline based on events right even customers they also don't know what time their their upstream system could send a file right so those scenarios you can use the event based trigger 
So it, it works in uh, both uh, events when, when the file arrives or the file deletes. Okay, the two events you can set accordingly. And, and then um, uh, basically it's, it's uh, with ADF auto, uh, already integrated with Azure storage account. Right, so you need not do any additional configurations or anything to uh, trigger the pipeline when the file arrives. So uh, it, it internally uses the Azure Event Grid, which is a cloud-based service to uh, manage the events across the applications and uh, uh, all other stuff. Okay, so that's um, which which basically lets uh, trigger the pipeline when the event happens. For example, in this case, when the file uh, file arrives. Okay, so these are the three important uh, types of triggers. Okay, so let's uh, quickly uh, deep dive into the uh, Azure portal and how. Let's see how these works. So we have a couple of triggers we already have, okay, right? And uh, we've, we've been running manually so far uh, for our uh, uh, exercises. Now you can see there is an add trigger option available for every pipeline, okay? So now when you see, uh, click on add trigger, there are two options, either you can trigger now, which is, which is on demand and ad hoc run, or you can create a new trigger. Okay, so let's create. Now, when you create a, uh, a click on trigger, it looks for a choose the trigger type, right? So it 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 asks for if if you already have any triggers already created that you want to add to this pipeline. So we since we do not have any uh, existing triggers, so let's create a new one. Okay, so so as usual, you need to give a name. Uh, for example, in this case, uh, trigger uh, daily. I, I want to give daily six a.m. Okay. So you can see once you once you give the name, you can give the short description, and you can uh, type type. You can see there are a couple of options available that we discussed: schedule, tumbling, as well as uh, storage, storage events. Okay, and, and also there is a custom event. Okay, so don't worry about custom event for now. Okay, let's let's deep dive into all these three. Now let's create a schedule one, uh, the one which I want to. So okay, when you create the schedule automatically, it populates with the current time. You remember, see, you cannot schedule the past, right? Past is past. The schedule can ha only happen in the future. Okay, so the schedule, so when you create this trigger and the event, so after creating the trigger, the start, uh, the start of the event is uh, this is the st start date and time. Okay, and uh, the Microsoft always uh, gives you in, uh, works in uh, universal time zone. So in case if you want to schedule according to the any time zone like Eastern, uh, uh, Central, or any other time zones, you need to convert those uh, into uh, UTC and then use accordingly. Okay, 
so now recurrence is which is very important aspect to uh, schedule the trigger <clears throat> okay so you set the start date okay the trigger has to start so and so date which is fine <clears throat> okay now what what recurrence either you want to set every uh, 15 minutes or you want to have a dates Right, you can specify dates as well. You see, which, which dates you want to run, you can specify those dates as well. You can see you can run hours, minutes, weekly, and anything. Let's say you want to run in uh, days, right? So you can see, execute these days, which date you want to run, which minutes you want to run, right? Everything you can set it up. For example, you want to run You want to run week, you can select which, which week you want to, or either uh, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or across across the days, you can set up those as well. You, in the same way, you can choose months as well. So which month you want to do that, okay? I want to run um, all the all the weekdays of month, right? Or, or all, the, all the something like, so you can do that as well. So those dates, those intervals, automatically the recurrence will take square and and and, and auto automatically kicks off the pipeline. Okay. So let's say I wanted to run on every So if you know if you know still when to, when to when you know you know end date is which is good, otherwise you need not specify any end date. You can just kick off this one, check off, and you need not specify any end date. Okay, now just, just, just kick on, uh, okay. So remember always you need to publish the trigger so that you know it, it can automatically start. Just creating uh, without publishing will not take you, uh, that will not will not kick off the trigger if the time comes okay so you need to publish the changes to the repository then only it can uh, starts okay so now uh, let's see you want to set up a uh, for days every two days three days you can set up or you can choose as well you can choose from the weeks Let's say give two. You cannot you cannot set negative. Okay, it's not an. Uh, not worth okay so you have to be uh, setting the positive let's see every 30 if you set the months and you can see it says the frequency or type month interval has to be 1 to 16 
specific day year. And it's a little month. Right, so this is the this is the way you can schedule so that the so that the trigger trigger can uh, fire those those dates automatically. So you have some advanced options also. You can choose that. So you can uh, which week weekdays or month weekends. So we can we can select those days. For example, you want to run the only specified days as as earlier we did. You can do you can select those dates if you know already. If you don't know, just go back. And if you want to see every, if you want to every recur, recurring you want to set up for every, you know, first Sunday, second Sunday, or third, or the days, you can set that as well. Okay. Now I don't want to publish because it will automatically triggers and I don't want to run this trigger. Now let's create a new one. Okay, so this has to publish first to create a new trigger. Okay, so let's uh, Right, so it's published, so we are good. So now, how do we know how, what are the triggers available? You can go and see the triggers in the manage section. You can see the trigger that just we created, which is trigger daily 6 a.m. That, and you can see right now it's only attached to one pipeline, so it's related to is showing as one, and you can see the pipeline name over here. But if we <clears throat> if you associate this trigger with multiple pipelines, you can see those numbers over here. And when you click on this, you can see which all the pipelines are associated, associated with this sticker. Now let's uh, deep dive into uh, Okay, so now I want to create a tumbling trigger. So what is tumbling uh, window trigger? So as, as, as we discussed is it works on a specified time. Okay, again, start time. So here you can also use the start time add as previous dates as well, if you want to pull the historical data. For example, if you want to pull the last month, uh, or uh, uh, data from 6 to 8 a.m. or you know 9 to 10 a.m. So those kind of data, if you those kind of windows, you can use to pull the previous month data as well. So now once you have that, sorry. So once you have that again, you need to uh, fill the uh, uh, recur recurrence and also it comes with some advanced options. You see, when you click on advanced, the options is, comes with different options, and these options are not not there in when you when we are doing in scheduled. Okay, and you can see there is an add dependencies as well, so we can add dependence. For example, let's say. Okay, so you have click, uh, there is a pipeline one, you have uh, specified to run for every one hour. Okay, so for example, it starts 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., right? So it just starts, eight, just started 8 a.m. 
okay and, and it, it continues it continues to till 9 a.m right so the trigger the first first one which which, which is already kicked off at 8 a.m is still running now this was at 8 a.m now the time is 9 a.m so you you have scheduled to run for every one hour right so then the second one would also start at the year okay so that that's the that's the dependency we are talking about this is called the dependency now let's say so there is a overlap right if you see there is a overlap still it's running and you you want the, the second one is already started so there is a overlap and uh, these overlap and dependency is what here is talking about suppose let's say you want to you don't want to get into this overlap you want to complete once this completes then only this can be started Irrespect, irrespective of the scheduled time, then you can set it over here. You can create the dependencies and create the trigger if you have any dependencies over. Or let's say, let's say there is a, 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 another scheduled trigger which is a star, which is about to uh, finish uh, by 9 a.m. It's still not complete and still working, and this one about to start. So those kind of dependencies we can track it over here. Okay, and in that case, we can we can delay delay out our time our trigger. Okay, to, you can mention the delay if you know. Okay, in, in next thirty minutes or so, it's going to complete. You can delay the timing. Okay, and concurrency. This is again uh, to run the number of simultaneous triggers run that are fixed, right? So let's say let's say you have uh, run, you have a uh, for example, uh, this in the same example, you have a uh, schedule to run for every 15 minutes. Okay, so now it's uh, uh, 8, 8 a.m., uh, 8.15 a.m., 8.30 a.m., right? So now 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock it started, okay, so it is good. But again, the same above scenario. It's it's taking time. It's taking till it it it. This is eight, and this is eight thirty. So it's it's now eight thirty. Still is working. Still is running. So what should I do? Should the next one next one which supposed to start at eight fifteen somewhere in between, should should start or should wait? Right. So if 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 it starts right. So there are two pipelines running concurrently, right? For the first one is, is started, which is at eight o'clock, is still running. And the second one also has kicked off based on the interval, which is 8.15 a.m. Okay, so now the two pipelines are running concurrently, which is good. The pipeline will be able to uh, take it. So like that, you can set the maximum concurrency based on your infra and all other stuff, okay? So in this case, there are two the two concurrencies. So let's say you uh, uh, it it gives you maximum fifty. So that means you can you can kick off fifty pipelines can run uh, concurrently. Provided provided the provided the uh, uh, storage and compute supports that. Okay. Otherwise, if you know already, no no you cannot run fifty, and you know the limitations you can set that a number accordingly. Let's say you want to run just for five uh, concurrently at, at any, any point of time. And similarly, you can also set uh, the retry, po retry policy. So if in case fails, right, uh, uh, you want to retry uh, how many times still you want to try and uh, what is the time uh, retry policy. Right, so all the all the uh, window uh, windowing functions you can mention.
I don't know why it's taking time. But yeah, let's discuss. So that's so that's yes, the, yeah. So this triggering is nothing but uh, scheduling the work process, right? Yeah. So you remember the pipeline you created, right? So you created a you created a pipeline to copy <coughs> data from your uh, some some other source to <coughs> target, right? Yes. So now you um, the data is it's not a uh, single instance, right? You have to copy the data multiple times and multiple intervals. Right? Mm -hmm. that's, how, that's how you get the new data and you get the updated data from the source. So those cases based on the agreement with the system, source systems and all. So let's say they have agreed to send the new data to every day at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. Right. So in that case, you will schedule your pipeline to run at 9 a.m. So what, what the pipeline does, it looks for the file when it runs and picks up the file and copies to your target data. Okay, sir. Right. So, uh, what will be our uh, daily activities in the places like see uh, every day we will be having a set of tasks to do no what will be our daily task in this time when it comes to data Azure data right so, so the, the daily uh, daily are uh, so you will be dealing with understanding the um, first of all, you, you the major chunk of this is what 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 are you trying to what problem are you going to solve? Whether are you going to uh, solve the sales? Are you going to solve the marketing? Are uh, the finance right? So now you will be dealing with those data sets, right? Mm -hmm. Now you will understand where the data coming from, what are the sources, and then and then you um, do the some quality checks. Right, mm -hmm. and then you bring the data to here, and then uh, make sure the data is available for the reporting purpose. So you will be designing pipelines, and you when you design the pipelines, you know what activities to be uh, implemented, and then uh, accordingly you will schedule the pipeline to bring that, and you will monitor the pipeline for a couple of days. Okay, so task will be assigned to us, like correct, the correct, problem. correct. So there will be there will be multiple people. Let's say, uh, let's say you, there are there are uh, two two data engineers and you and uh, Venkat both are there, right? So now uh, when when the project comes, uh, you know you guys know what are the activities needs to be done, and accordingly you distribute between uh, between the people, and then you will be doing something. Venkat is doing something, and at the end, they are going to be in the same. Uh, what we call same project, and at the end of this, it's going to be added to the same project. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. So now let's create a. Uh, so let's create an event one. Okay, so since we haven't done. Okay, so for that. Do I have any? Okay, so now let's take a quick one. So I am copying employee data from source to sync and it's deleting, right? So now uh, I want to I want to uh, handle this. So it's, it's, it's expecting uh, the employee data to be there, right? So now I want to create a parameterize this.
Okay, so let's add publish this. Okay, so I will. Delete, let's delete for now. I don't want to deal with delete. And yeah, so good, let's publish this. Let's create a new one. It's confusing. Okay, so I, I just created a new pipeline. So which is basically uh, it's a trigger uh, event, right? So so if you see, I selected storage events. So what would happen is uh, when <coughs> when when in my storage, if you go back, let's go back. See. You see the training demo IT where I have a uh, took uh, one container, right? Uh, so demo, demo, demo training. So where I have employee CSV. Now what will happen <clears throat> if the file if the file, uh, you know, somebody plays that file, it automatically the pipeline kicks off. Okay, so now let's see. So, so that's where the, the subscription details have been provided, okay. So now the event you need to give, whether it's after creation or after deletion. So since if the somebody created a file, we want to play uh, run the pipeline. Uh, so let's do that, okay? So then let's leave it as it is and just do that.
think okay so let's remove the info for now okay so now let's continue so it, it just looks for one file okay if the file <coughs> if the file uh, you know uh, matching with all, automatically if you see when 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 i selected storage it automatically looks for the blob and the file name it's automatically comes out right so if the file again coming it is automatically the uh, pipeline going to kick out okay so let's continue that I think we created a parameter somewhere, right? Um, Yeah, so now we published successfully, right? So let's let's go and 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 uh, upload again. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so now we have uploaded a new file. Now let's see what, what, what happened to the pipeline. The pipeline didn't run.
Okay, and don't worry. So let's do a uh, create a new one. Uh, I think the existing pipeline is giving some problem. Okay, so don't worry. So this is how this is how uh, the. Uh, um, a difference between schedule tumbling and event and i will go you will deep dive uh, how the event uh, uh, why is event is uh, in the scenario we can, we can discuss you can try as well and we will uh, discuss more in the event in the coming session and i will show you in a live demo how it works does that make sense yes sir yeah so there is there is uh, some problem in the existing pipeline and uh, 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 it's creating a problem. So we need to create a, a, again, new uh, data set, link service, pipeline, everything. Okay. okay, so I will show you, don't worry, I will show you again anything. So now uh, coming to coming to the uh, earlier session. So have you uh, done that until activity? You remember yesterday we were doing the until activity and uh, it's uh, given uh, a kind of a, uh, I will show you how the until works. If you don't give the true uh, variable, don't set the true, it keep running, running, running in the infinite loop. So have you guys tried anything on that? No, sir, because uh, 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 due to time, I didn't do it. But Saturday, Sunday, I will be not having any work, so I will be uh, working on Saturday and Sunday. Sir. Yeah, please do that. And uh, see, the, the more you do, the more you learn, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. so right. do that. Do that. And uh, in the, when, when, we, uh, when we resume on, uh, so Monday is off, right? Monday is a labor day. Monday is a long weekend, so take off. We'll resume on Tuesday. And Tuesday going to be uh, the... Uh, it's, we will discuss about uh, this uh, event in more details. And again, we will uh, cover, I, I want you to uh, do the uh, until activity, come up with that exercise. Yes, sir. I will do it on today. Yeah? Yes, sir. And, and ping me in WhatsApp if you guys need any help and we will, uh, I, I could be able to respond. Okay. Okay, yeah. sir. Okay, so we'll we'll resume again on Tuesday. Huh? Sir, one small doubt: this container works as uh, like a, to store the uh, files. Yeah. So see, one blob is blob is a is a, is a uh, storage, right? Storage within yeah. storage, you can you need to like uh, uh, for example, within the house you have a uh, hall, kitchen. Mm -hmm. Uh, bedroom and all right so this container is something like that okay. so you can create multiple containers uh, container a container b container c for example container a for marketing container b for uh, finance and within the containers you can have your own folders and files it's a flexibility to to uh, to have your data in a uh, logical way Okay, sir, I have a knowledge on virtualization. Okay, so mm -hmm. is this virtualization is going to help in this field? Yeah, definitely. So virtualization also, basically, if you, which are you doing any tool, virtualization? Uh, mm -hmm. I like, I know to create a virtual machines and installing the ESX OS, all those mm -hmm. things. Yeah, so, so, uh, so you, so you, good that you're already in, in, uh, uh, cloud you're already working right so mm -hmm. this is going to be extension to your uh, 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 cloud and this is going to be extension so far you've been in the cloud and infra side right so this mm -hmm. is an opportunity to learn some of these uh, services and move to towards a data uh, engineering side where you you in the where you can progress in your career okay sir. yeah and I have worked on the server side also, sir. Uh, like yeah. uh, uh, some service testing and all I have done. Yeah. Uh, so I thought uh, that will be helping. To absolutely, plan. absolutely. So this, see, you need to take this is an another uh, enhanced to your career, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so that that's how you need to take. And and Azure Azure is one of the leading in the market. So in terms of uh, uh, your uh, career progression and all other stuff, will take into a next level. 
sir is there any uh, anything is going to help in uh, when we are uh, see uh, in in virtualization we are going to create a, a ride levels i hope you are aware of that ride levels right uh, yes sir like using multiple device uh, drives to create a virtual uh, like virtual environment hmm. on that uh, virtual environment we are going to uh, install the virtual machines and all right right so is that going to help in this field uh it's not completely but the concepts you can you can use it see virtualization what you are doing you are collecting connecting multiple sources and uh, creating a virtual layer right yes sir where, where you are installing other stuff similarly yes. data factory also will work the same thing in in terms of data so it connects to the multiple <coughs> data sources bring the data to a uh, virtual uh, in this case virtual layer is the your cloud okay, okay. So from there from there anyone can use the data according to their purposes okay. now azure data factory is a uh, tool or service uh, it can operate on the data and uh, enrich the data further to the uh, need of the business okay sir yeah see so, the concepts remain same and it it very well it will uh, if you already know it's it's it will enhance your knowledge yeah sure, sir. sir yeah sir uh, do we use triggers regular regularly in real time scenarios yeah so when <clears throat> in real time when you trigger uh, when you create a pipeline you need to trigger it right you you will not be manually running in production kind of an environment every day okay. right so obviously you, you will get the agreement with the client okay i'm going to set up this uh, to so on so on, so on so on so what timings and then accordingly you can uh, use that okay is it only works with, works only pipeline sir yeah okay thank you so much sir yeah we will will resume again on tuesday monday is going to be off and uh, in between go back all uh, if you if you have plenty of time to revise all the videos go through the videos content and uh, do the exercise and come up with the questions yes sir, definitely yeah thank you so much yeah thank you